As we have seen in previous sections, the interaction of the Ottoman Empire with the West, especially with France, got stronger in the 18th century, and this brought new influences to Ottoman architecture. These influences were observed as assimilation of Baroque forms in Ottoman architecture, and import of ornamental motifs in Rococo style, primarily from France. Throughout the century, the results of these influences were more visible in ornamental works rather than spatial qualities. One of the earliest ornamental motifs under the influence of French Rococo style is located underneath the eaves of Ahmed III fountain on its northern façade. The floral decorations inside and outside the arch of the fountain, S and C curves and straight lines connecting them are motifs used commonly in Rococo style. These were often used on the niches of fountains together with plasters with acanthus leaves and cartouches. Seashell motifs were widely used as well in this period. In the second half of the century, the motifs started to have a more plastic look. In the reign of Abdulhamid I, ornamental motifs became larger and the emphasis on the three-dimensional parts increased. Lines and motifs started to cover all of the surfaces. At the beginning of the 18th century, ornaments with acanthus leaves, palmettes and cartouches were used together with traditional tiles and mukarnas motifs. In the later century, mukarnas has completely disappeared and tiles were no longer used. Instead, figurative wall paintings of landscapes were preferred. However, these wall paintings did not have a high quality like the three-dimensional ornaments of the time, made from wood and plaster. The effects of Baroque style on the composition of the facades were limited to abundance of plasters and enrichment of profile systems, especially the use of large concave profiles. On plans, Baroque effects could be observed as curved or undulating forms, also reflected on the facades or stairs. On the other hand, in civil architecture, an element which highly represents Baroque style was the elliptical interior anteroom, which was used in this period. There were further novelties that demonstrate the interest of Ottomans in foreign forms. Although pointed arches had been continuously used in previous centuries, round arches were preferred in the 18th century buildings. Stonemasons started to get inspiration from ionic columns while producing the capitals. As we have discussed before, there were novelties in the organization of mosques as well. Closed interior and exterior galleries were added to Nuri Osmania Mosque. This mosque is also bejeweled with impressive profiles around doors and windows and has rich plasters and moldings. On the other hand, emphasis in vertical elements can be observed in some of this period's buildings. For instance, the vertical dimensions of the Lalili Mosque were increased in such a way that it differed from the classical period mosques. Starting from the 18th century, the city developed more outside the city walls. As a result, the number of waterways and fountains increased in certain areas, especially in Galata. Although classical plan schemes were used in fountains, water dispensers and mausoleums, the ornamentations were usually in Rococo style. Since water dispensers and fountains spread all over Istanbul, they played an important role to carry the influences of Baroque and Rococo all around the city. The constructions of military barracks also started in this century. Halil Pasha barracks and Kalyoncu barracks were two examples of them. These military structures and the ones which were built later in the 19th century brought the French neoclassicism to Istanbul. In conclusion, in the 18th century, buildings in Istanbul were usually built with old plan schemes from classical period, but with new elements and forms that originated in Europe. The result was a genuine interpretation of Baroque architecture in Ottoman style, which became common especially after the first quarter of the 18th century. 
Ottoman Baroque did not follow Renaissance style as in Europe, it was articulated over classical Ottoman architecture.